Well, hello, and welcome back to My Indigo Mind. This is your host, Tashana. And today, hey, we are going to be talking about Trico Splash Mr. Baha Phone 2. So let's get right into this baby home. Well, darling, here we go again. <laughs> Baby, stop playing with me. Let's get into it. So, everybody was running in mouth about the fact that um, Keisha was trying to get him to come live. If you don't remember, there was a live that she did where she was trying to get him to come on. And she said in the background, um, you know, I just put you this car and you can't come lie with me or whatever. And he was like, I already told you, like, go ahead. And everybody, everybody wanted to run their mouth, talk about something. He didn't, that didn't happen. They, they ain't nobody hit it. Uh, 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 y'all ain't serious. You know what I mean? Don't nobody want trickle, okay? Um, so... He comes on and he puts, you know, a video up. Now, baby, we know house repair, funny, is expensive, okay? Contractors, between you paying for the labor, the supplies, um, you changing your mind midway, all of the things you have to factor in, um, the mishaps, the liability, all of that. You have to pay for all of the things, honey. So, Keisha was not having, she was like, you have to start vlogging again, baby. Because <laughs> um, we need the coin. So, do you know this man, do you know that this man total, total, the car that she just bought him? Now, I don't know if it was on leaks. I don't know if, um, you know, they bought it straight cash out. That ain't my business. But you really need to reevaluate if this almost, like, because he only got scratches, thank God. But if this doesn't open up your mind that in a second everything could be over and that you need to value your family and that you need to take care of those four lives you born into the world because you could be gone and their father's gone and, and that's that on that and um they got to grow up without you because you're being a jerk like you're out here driving crazy um probably high off substances like come on bro like this shit is ridiculous i mean between the lean drinking allegedly, and the 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 pill popping allegedly. You don't think that as a grown ass man, you need to stop doing these things because you have lives that are dependent on you being here. You have a whole little boy that has to be taught how to be a man. You have three little girls that needs to be taught how to be treated, how what they shouldn't take. What they should um, value as women, okay? Because whether you know it or not, the girls need you just as much as the boys do. But no, you out here trying to live the fast lifestyle, not realizing that it's getting you absolutely nowhere but hurt. It's getting you nowhere but look that crazy. Son, what happened to all these businesses you were starting? Rap is not guaranteed. I am not saying stop. I'm not saying, oh, you shouldn't be doing that, even though, you know, in my opinion, 
He's not that great of a rapper. Um, you could be doing so many things. You know what I'm saying? And instead of doing those, starting businesses, you know, building them from the ground up, continuing on your YouTube channel, getting your um, bread that way. But no, you trying to be in a little ass closet studio recording your mumble rap that ain't really making you no real money at this point. Like, every time you've seen in the video shoot, it's somebody else's. Like, I just... <laughs> you have four mouths to feed right now. And with y'all buying a new home, you have to be considerate of the fact that a lot of your money is tied up in that a lot of y'all money is going to be tied up over there. Like, what don't you get? Come on now. It ain't a, a, a consistent amount every single month. It's not a consistent amount that you're getting. Because when you are in YouTube, when you are in sales, when you are in anything like that, like you never sell the same amount of product every month. You never sell get as the same views or the same view duration in the, every month. It's never the same. So you got to bust your ways to get these videos out and you do your skit through. I don't know that I would have spent 400 grand on a picture upper, but everybody else does it differently. Everybody got their own way of doing things. If she felt that it was worth it and she got the money to do it, by all means, honey, but I want you to realize that the man that you chose to do this with is unreliable. And that you can truly only depend on yourself because, wait, didn't she say that Jeremy was flipping houses? So why is he not doing the repairs? Why is he not the one getting, you know, the, the estimates and talking to the, the um, electricians and, and things of that nature? And if you had an auditor and a um, inspector come in, how did you not know that it was a leak in the basement? Like, I would have some questions for them on this. So y'all didn't know that it was a leak in the good old basement? Like, you ain't know it was leaking back here, girl? Well, see, or oh, if that their money and down payment I just gave you, oh, yeah, something, something going to have to give. You're going to have to cover that, baby. But everybody is different. Y'all can't compare what one person does to what someone else does. True indeed, you're not going to sit down with a closing lawyer. But at the end of the day, if you don't make those mortgage payments, honey, the bank can take it back. Or the owners can repose it. You can get, it could be to the point where you're not making those payments on time or you're not making them at all. Anything can happen. I want people when y'all to realize, and it's so funny to me how people throw this out. Oh, you mad because she got money. You mad? No, I'm actually not, though. Like, you feel me? I don't got no whole bunch of kids. I don't have no, I kept money. I keep money. Especially before I had a kid. So it's not even that. It's the fact that there are smart decisions and there are decisions that are made out of haste, mostly because she wants to shut people up when she should have did her research and did more searching for her home and found something that she could um, like better without having to do as many repairs. She could have bought a beautiful up-to-date home for 400 grand. For 400 grand? She could have bought something she really loved, still had some things that needed to be repaired, granted. Um, you know, because we always going to upgrade on our homes, period. When we have something that we could call ours, we want to upgrade on, we're going to do that. You feel me? So I get it. You know, you're going to want the, the special walk-in closet or certain things in your office because you work from home or, of course, Horse, like that is without a doubt. All I'm saying is, is that 
if you would have took your time and looked for something that was more within what you wanted your house to be, you wouldn't have to spend so much in repairs. That's not hate. That's advice. Okay? See, people get the two mixed up so often because they don't like taking it, you know? If somebody came to me that went through a process or read up on some things or is well-versed in a topic and they had good ideas and it just made sense, the last thing I would do is, oh, they just hate it. Oh, they know the difference between a hater and a person giving you advice. Now, granted, there are a lot of haters. But there are a lot of people just giving you sound advice that been here longer, that's gone through more. Just because you like the yes men sitting around you, oh, you're doing everything right, Keisha. You're doing everything right, Jeremy. You're doing everything right. That's not real love because they're going to pull you on your shit. They're going to give you that. Yes, bitch, do your thing. But when you're fucking up, they're going to be able to pull them coattails, man. You're fucking up. You're messing up, okay? Get your life together. Get back on track. We need to do this. We need to do that. Ah, ah, ah. But see, she don't like criticism. So she's never going to look at it like, oh, they're just giving me advice. It's only when someone else tells her what to do that she makes up her own mind. Understand that she does not think independently. It doesn't seem like that to me. To me, my opinion, what I think, what I see, Keisha does not make decisions completely and totally on her own. So you got to think that, you know, her man has a lot to do with certain things, which ain't nothing wrong with that. That's just the way the hell it is. Period. But, um, babe, we're going to see where this ends up. I wish the best for both of them, honey, because she is no hater, because I'm going to get where I'm going regardless, honey. So, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk about this down in the comments. And while you are at it, hit that notification bell. So you know when I post, but I got to go. <laughs> so later for now. Bye. No broke ass bitch And that song that you like I probably wrote that shit know that's it uh, More fire Hot like Naya Whole lot of juice I'm the plug